Hello and welcome to week six. Week six of Johnson Community College's English 112 online fall semester 2018. My name is Professor Morgan. Hope you are doing well. Hope you are plugging away with the annotated bibliography, which is due on the 26th. Yes, that's coming up. All right, so this week, what are we doing? Well, you are in the middle of working on your annotated bibliography, which again is due on the 26th. You actually submitted it this week. Um, it's in the it's down here. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Um, but that is the first project. We are now going to introduce the second project, which is the rhetorical analysis. What the heck? Why? What's all the big words? Okay, so um, here's what we're going to do to make life easier for you. So um, there is readings in the Norton Field Guide on, on arguing, which will help you with your overall process or proposal paper you're going to be working on. So we do have some readings this week to help you with this. But as far as the rhetorical analysis itself, um, what I've done is I've posted three videos that will help you with this. The first video here, here is how to identify ethos, logos, and pathos. You're like, what in the world are those? Okay, well, this video kind of explains what that is. There's another video that kind of does the same thing. So I've got to two different videos. This one's kind of fun, uh, a little, you know, spice move so it's a little more upbeat this one you know also is good with the two of these they're neither one of them very long they're like four minutes long each but they introduce the concepts of ethos logos and pathos and you need to know these things and what they are the three things in order to do the rhetorical analysis assignment and you're like well that doesn't really help me with understanding what that is well that's why i have this other video right here the rhetorical analysis lecture yeah you'll see that it was this updated summer of 18 so that's the last time i created that particular thing it still pertains to this semester, so that's all good. So after you've watched this video and this video on ethos, pathos, and logos, um, or ethos, logos, and pathos, depending on how you want to, what order you put it in, then you'll have an understanding of basic concepts that you'll you need to be able to do this. And this video right here explains the assignment, how to do it, um, and this is, you know, I'm not going to spend the time in this video that you're watching right now watch this video and explain how to do the rhetorical analysis assignment. In addition, there is a link right here to the rhetorical analysis assignment paper, which has the same basic information as that's in the video. Uh, personally, I would watch the video just because for me it explains it and it's going to be trying to dig the information out of this uh, assignment. But this, we have it in two different, two different ways on what that assignment is about. And again, I'm not going to spend the time in this video to explain it, because it does it very well in there. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to be doing. So you're going to do the readings, you're going to watch the videos on ethos, pathos, and logos, those two, and then you'll watch the video on the rhetorical analysis to get an understanding of, understanding of what that assignment is all about. Okay, in addition for this week, we are going to do the annotated bibliography. Yay! Yay! Yes, that is due on the 26th. So you'll have until the 26th. Now, to submit that, you go down here to the annotated bibliography assignments. Okay, and let's go ahead and click on that. Do, 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 do. Now, for this assignment and for most assignments, there is a place where you can view the rubric. This shows you exactly how uh, your paper is going to be graded. So if you click on View Rubric, and I'm going to go ahead and just maximize that. So this shows exactly how I grade it. So it's not like I go in and say, ooh, I really like this student, they're going to get an A. Oh, I don't like this student, they're going to get a C. It's not a matter of my, my liking, I just use this kind of checklist. So for the annotated bibliography, if you have 10 articles from valid sources, okay, um, that's 40%. Boom, okay. Um, if you have a paragraph for each of the sources that kind of, you know, summarizes what that article is about, that's part of it. APA formatting overall throughout the major assignment um, is worth 10%. You need to have a title page without any formatting issues, so we're practicing APA formatting. Those go there. And then uh, the big part is written all in third person. So when you're doing the summaries, not if you're quoting something, but if you do the summaries, they're not like, I found this article to be this, or I think this article said this, or you should read this article because, no, that's first and second person. We want to use the third person. You just state, this article states this. The author wrote this. It claims this. Okay, so you don't use I or you or me or whatever. Cool, third person. So that's the rubric of how you get graded. So you submit it. You need to browse your computer and you're going to attach a file. So you're going to write, you're going to write up your uh, annotated bibliography and then you're going to submit it. 
Um, and you go to, let's say, browse my computer, and it goes over here. Let's say that's your file um, it's right there. Okay, and then you hit open, and then you see that it's kind of there. Now, one last thing you have to do is you have to click I agree to submit my paper to the Global Reference Database because what happens is when you submit it through this, um, for this particular assignment, it'll check your paper for plagiarism to make sure that you wrote what you were supposed to write. And what I'm particularly looking for is the summary paragraphs. Did you write your own summary paragraphs or did you just copy and paste them from somewhere else? If you copied and pasted the summary paragraphs from somewhere else, that's plagiarism. Okay, that's not good. That will give you a zero. That will earn a zero on this assignment. The summary paragraphs are for you. They're for you to write and write down your understanding of the um of the source. It's not for me. I could care less what's in the sources. Well, not really care less, but it's really for you to go through and make notes about the source and what's important for you that you'll need later on. That's why I say it's so important for you to do very well on the annotated bibliography. And then you'd hit submit to submit the file. And then it goes off to get graded. Okay, I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want to submit this right now. Um, and then the last thing we're doing for this week is research log six. So that's down here. Okay, so you're going to write a paragraph or two, a minimum of 300 words about your topic. Now, so again, um, most of you came in with, you know, you picked a topic and then it got narrowed down to one topic and you chose a side, uh, you chose an issue with it, and you probably did so because you already have some preconceived notions of what that is about. Well, ideally, you want to consider your own biases and challenges when you're doing this. As you've been doing research, have you come across things that, you know, are kind of counter to what you thought or what you believed? Uh, did it make you think more about your topic? Okay. Um, what have you learned? What's the most exciting thing you've learned about your topic? What are some of the most, you know, challenging things in trying to research the topic? And I'll give you a little story about this one. So I've had students, it seems like it happens every semester, I'll have students to say, hey, Professor Morgan, you know, I'm researching this particular topic. And I chose side A, you know, side A is what I believe. And as I'm doing research, I can find all sorts of um, research that supports side B. Um, but I, you know, I don't believe side B. I only believe side A. But I can't really find any research to back up side A. You know, what should I do? Well, my response is pretty simple. Switch over to side B. You may be wrong. You may have a belief which is wrong. And as you do research, you realize, well, crap. Well, maybe crap isn't the right word. Well, darn it. Or, oh my. Maybe what I've grown up believing, um, for whatever reason, is not necessarily really what it should be. Okay, now I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about ethics and morals here. I'm talking about more scientific things, like, you know, whether or not marijuana makes you bald. I say marijuana makes, makes you bald. Well, I can't find any proof that shows that, you know, or whatever. But that's that's the point I'm trying to make, okay? And if you're still unsure about the topic, what questions do you have? Because you may, as you do research, have more questions that pop up. That's a good thing. So to sum up again for week six, we are going to introduce the rhetorical analysis, which is the next big assignment. We have some things to help you. There are the readings, which will help you not only with the rhetorical analysis, but also just, uh, you know, readings in general to help you with the process. Um, we have some videos on ethos, logos, and pathos. Watch both of those. Then watch the video on the rhetorical analysis. Get started on that. Finish up your annotated bibliography. Get it submitted. And then research log six. So when does the rhetorical analysis, uh, what does that do? Well, let's take a look. Bum, 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 bum. Rhetorical analysis. Here's due on the 6th. The 6th of October. Okay, and it's not as big of an assignment as the annotated bibliography. Um, and we'll talk about why it's due on the 6th um, in a few weeks. So that's it for this week. Yes, that's uh, it for week six. And all right, go ahead and get to work.